Welcome back. Private here again, I'm afraid to get a Wing Commander 3 video out, I would have had to chase down the person who I need some sound off, and they took my reminders very seriously, they went to Trinity. Which I thought was a bit excessive, I'm not that scary, but there you go. Anyway, normal pre-missions this time, the third supplied one was to get to New Constantinople, so I have a cargo mission to take me there. I had to kill that pirate, who apparently thought that it was a sane thing to attack a planet protected by me and the Confederation Broadsword. There he is. Interesting colour scheme. This time the broadswords we saw off the Concordia were painted green, of course. I don't know if that's a militia colour scheme, or if it's a maybe a local militia colour scheme. I mean, the everything in the Enigma sector, which we found in Wing Commander 2, was painted green, including, of course, the Concordia. Things might be painted that silver and blue in the Gemini sector, or maybe the Confed militia have just changed their colour scheme since 2667. It is two years later now, I think. Anyway, this is my second mission to patrol this nav point. This takes annoyingly ages, it's about half the video. The primary reason for this is that my flying sucks. I mean, it's also probably true to some extent that the Confederation, sorry, the pirate fighters in this section fly somewhat better than the previous ones I've encountered. There is a fairly wide variation of AIs that can be attached to any given fighter, but mostly it's me flying badly. You saw me just then do the cardinal stupid thing that you should never ever do in any space game I have ever played, which is turn into an enemy who is drawn to be on you and is already firing. It never works, you always take more damage than you receive. One maybe slight exception would be in the X-Wing series, it's sometimes worth turning into a TIE Fighter that's already firing at you in a shielded craft in as much as you will take more damage than they will, but you can sustain about an order of magnitude more damage than they can, so it's sometimes worth it. And yes, I am still trying to shoot this guy up. It didn't seem like it was taking that long when I was doing it, but compared to every other fight I got involved in, this one does take absolutely forever. The trick, I guess, or part of the reason, I guess, why I am flying and missing so much is that I have got somewhat used to the enemy patterns and the evasive patterns that the Kilrathi fly in Wing Commander Saga. So I am anticipating the wrong set of evasions at the moment. My other Saga related excuse is the fact that I've now got as far as the Excalibur missions in Saga, so aiming is optional, and I'm declining to aim for a lot of the time here, which works just fine in Excalibur and less well in every other fighter that has ever appeared in a Wing Commander game. Which is somewhat unfortunate in terms of the length of time this fight takes. It's almost over now, fortunately. Once it is over, we'll be off to New Constantinople, which is an interesting name for a system, really. So, I kind of get that the... If you name something new city name that existed on Earth, you're implying some form of link to the original city. So, in the case of New York, it was named after the Duke of York, who funded the expedition to capture it from the Dutch, who had called it New Amsterdam, because it was going to be their capital in the New World. New Constantinople has few obvious associations. I mean, it's not the capital of the Byzantine Empire, because that's not there anymore. Um, I don't know if they're trying to suggest it's an impregnable fortification, such as the walls of Constantinople were supposed to be. That's about the only association I can come up with, but it doesn't appear to be an impregnable fortification, it looks like a civilian space station. So, I don't know, maybe that's what they were going for. Or maybe they just thought it sounded cool, which is usually, I think, the reason that things have the names they do in computer games, but I like to speculate about in-universe explanations for these things. It's largely a fruitless task, but it's fun. One other thing I guess I could say, and probably 
should say around now is that I'm beginning to get a bit disappointed in Privateer's lack of variety. Dump your cargo before you blow, will ya? I think I've encountered now about 70 talons and one Ralphie. I mean, I've encountered other types of ship, but I haven't ever had to fight them. And I just think that's a bit silly. I mean, in, I can't think of any other space game where it would the enemies are that monotonous. I mean, Wing Commander 2 and Wing Commander 3 are the 6th or 7th flight, which is what this is. We encountered almost the entire Kilgathi Arsenal. Prepare to be searched. Maintain speed and course. No contraband detected. You may proceed. And it just seems a bit silly that the entire Gemini sector is apparently flying the same ship. Especially since it's a ship that I can't buy. You know, everybody else in the sector buys a Talon, but I can't find anyone who'll sell me one. Now, I'm not sure I'd want one, although maybe it's better than Tarsus, but it just... Why, why are there Talons everywhere except for anywhere I can go? I don't know. Dump your cargo before you blow, will The other question to ask is why is the Talon quite so ubiquitous in the first place? The... I believe the expansion Righteous Fire kind of helps to answer that question, but that's something I only know very vaguely, so I won't go into any details as to what that explanation might be for now. The other reason they won't go into any details is because we're done here. I were the last enemies, this is New Constantinople, it's quite pretty, it looks, as I say though, like a, a civilian station rather than a military fortress, it's not it's supposed to be the Confederation's fortress in this system, it's the civilian capital rather than the military one. Anyway, it's quite a nice looking sprite, apparently it's the only one of its type in the game. And I'm going to land on it, so thanks for watching, I've been Alanin, this has been Wing Commander Privateer, and I'll see you next time.